In the shadows of Morkdor, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the One Ring to enslave all elves, dwarves, and men of Middle-earth. The free people of Middle-earth overthrew Sauron, but lost the Ring. Now the enemy has returned, and from his dark tower in Morkdor, he seeks his Ring. We must find the Ring first, and destroy it. But who can bear to carry the ring? The weak would be corrupted. Precious. <laughs> the powerful would become as great a threat as Sauron. But who can bear the ring? Welcome back, Gandalf. Will we have fireworks, elvish lessons, tales of ancient Numenor? Today, we must talk about a shadow of the past. The ring you inherited may be very dangerous. Uncle Bilbo's magic ring? Magic rings, as you call them, were made by elves. But this ring, I think, was made by another. Give me the ring. No! Look closely. I see fine lines. Lines of fire. In a flowing script. What does it say? One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, bind them. This is the one ring to rule them all. The ancient kings of elves, dwarves, and men use the rings of power to rule their lands. The Dark Lord Sauron created this ring to rule all the others. When he fell in battle, he lost it. The strange creature called Gollum found the ring and was corrupted by it. Bilbo won it from Gollum, and now it is yours. But the Lord of the Rings has returned and all his thought is bent on finding the ring. Let's destroy it! It can only be destroyed when it was forged, in Mount Doom, the fire mountain in Mordor. Take it there! Take it! No, do not tempt me! If I bore the ring, I would become like the Dark Lord himself. Then... then I must guard the ring. And I will help you bear this burden, as long as it is yours to bear. I'm a danger to the Shire. I must leave. I could set out on the road just like Bilbo. My dear Frodo, hobbits really are amazing creatures. But you need not go alone, if there are any you can trust. But take care. The enemy has many spies. Uh. Well then, Samwise Gamgee, isn't it? Uh, don't hurt me! What are you doing at Bag End? Nothing, sir. Uh, trimming the grass under the window. Oh? The sound of shears stopped some time ago. How long have you been eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? Uh, there ain't no eaves at Bag End. Don't be a fool. What have you heard? Uh, oh, Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. He won't hurt you. Just answer his question. Well, I heard a lot I didn't understand about lords and rings in the fiery mountain and elves, sir. I had to listen. I dearly love to see elves. Keep it a secret, Sam, or I hope Gandalf turns you into a spotted toad. I've thought of something better. He will go away with you, Frodo. Me, sir? Go and see elves and all? <laughs> Hooray! But where should we go? Towards danger. But not too rashly, nor too straight. And you mustn't vanish. Take time to settle your affairs before you leave. I could leave in autumn, on my birthday. Very well, but no later. Make for Rivendell in the east, and seek the counsel of Elrond Half-Elven. East? I'll tell everyone I'm buying a house in Crick Hollow near my relatives in Buckland. I'll have to sell Bag End. 
The Sackville Bagginses have been trying to take over this place for years. A shame to let them have it. Indeed. And now I must go. I have much to attend to. As do I. See that Samwise Gamgee does not talk, or I will turn him into a spotted toad. You can trust Sam. Oh, yes! Not a word from Sam Gamgee, and that's for certain! Once you leave, travel as Mr. Underhill. The name of Baggins is not safe outside the Shire. And do not use the ring, for it can corrupt the most innocent heart. I understand. Farewell, Gandalf. <laughs> elves! <laughs> I'm going to see elves! Farewell, Frodo. I'll return by your birthday. But Gandalf did not come back, and as the nights grew longer, I decided I might have to leave without him. On the morning of my birthday, September 22nd, I set out for one final stroll around the Shire. I had to say farewell to my neighbours and sell my home to Lobelia Sackville Baggins. The One Ring is in this chest. I'd best leave it here until I sell Bag End. to you, Mr. Frodo. Good morning, Sam. All ready to set out for Buckland? All ready? Or will be as soon as I tend to Bag End. Lobelia Sackville Baggins is buying the place. You don't need to weed Bag End ever again. I'd like to weed them Sackville Bagginses out of Bag End, if you get my meaning. No, I've got to weed that garden one last time, Frodo. Say my goodbyes to it. Set it to rights before Lotho and Lobelia ruin it. Bag End has the best garden in the Shire, thanks to your work. Oh, uh, no. I I'm sure there are many finer. Oh, Mary Brandybuck said he was meeting Pippin Took at the Green Dragon and invited you to join. They took a long walk out here just for a drink. I wonder what mischief they're up to. Begging your pardon, sir, but there's little mischief to be found in the Green Dragon. The Keeper won't stand for it. We will see. I'll not be here when these pumpkins get turned into pies. More's the pity. Hello, Milo. Hello, Frodo. Seen any elves lately? I'm afraid not, I'm sorry to say. What about trolls? No trolls either. Good. It's about time you found your hobbit sense again. You know, some say you're as mad as your uncle carrying on with that old wizard and all. I see. Well, at least they have something interesting to talk about then. Good day. Mr. Baggins. Hello there, Minto. What's the matter? Mrs. Sackville Baggins tried to hit me with her umbrella. Lobelia? Why? I was chasing Sancho Proudfoot past Bag End. She said that was no place for little ruffians. What did you do? When she turned away, I threw an apple. I almost got her, too. She gave me a look that would curdle milk. <laughs> then went down to Bywater. Good riddance, I say. Try not to waste perfectly good apples that way. You're right. A rock would have been better. I'm sure you don't mean that, Minto. Sorry, Mr. Baggins. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Ted. I wanted to say goodbye before I... Can't you see I'm busy? Actually, no. You seem to be just standing about. Well, if you knew about mills, you'd know I'm trying to locate a very important metal pin that must have fallen out of my mill wheel. Is that why the mill isn't working? Oh, never you mind about working or not working. I've sent Mugwort to Bree for a replacement. I'll let you know if I see it. 
What does it look like? If I haven't found it yet, there's no way you can find it. But, uh, it looks like a plain metal pin. <clears throat> now, good day to you. Sandyman's Mill. It looks a lot more cheerful than Ted Sandyman. Excuse me? I am the Dread Highwayman Sancho, and I demand a toll, sir. But I'm a poor country hobbit with no gold to spare. Well, that's what Ted Sandyman said. So the Dread Highwayman had to take a stick out of the mill. Shut it all down, I did. What kind of a stick? You can't catch the Dread Highwayman. The bold sheriff has finally caught the Dread Highwayman. You don't frighten the Dread Highwayman. Give me the stick from the mill. Oh, I don't have it. I threw it at a weather vane, and now it's stuck up there. You had better be telling the truth. The bold sheriff has finally caught you. Hello there, Hal. Oh, hello, Frodo. You have a beautiful day to begin your trip to Crick Hollow. Yes, indeed. I'm too old for such long walks. I can't even climb high enough to fix my weather vane. What's wrong with it? The thing's stuck. Sorry to hear it. That rascal Sancho Proudfoot was throwing sticks at it. Now it won't turn at all. I'll take a look at it before I leave. Well, that'd be fine with me. The ladder's right over there. Weathervane turns like it's new. Thank you kindly for that. My pleasure, Hal. You've helped an old man when others might not have, and I thank you for it. I must have something around here as a reward. If you don't mind, I'll just take that metal pin that was jamming the weather vane. Eh? Of course. Take it. Thank you. Why would you want such a thing? It might help Sandyman fix the mill. My, you're a boon to all the Shire. Just trying to help. Good day, Hal. Well, well, the mill wheel spins again. Thanks to Frodo Baggins, of all people. You've done me a valuable service today, Baggins. Why, thank you, Ted. Good day. The bridge to Bywater. The same path Bilbo took when he began his adventure long ago. 